equal triangles. Today, I am starting the class by clearing a doubt asked by a student in comment box. Page number 26, question number 5. But before answering question number 5, you please look at question number 4. Only then it will be more clear to you. Look at the question children. O is the center of the circle. A and B are any two points on the circle. Question here is to compute angle A and angle B. Is the question clear? Now I have drawn this figure once again to explain it. Look at this triangle. What do you know about this triangle OEAB? OEAB is an isosceles triangle. Why is it isosceles? It is because OA and OB are the radius of the same circle. They will be always equal. Now, since OA is equal to OB, you can call triangle OAB to be an isosceles triangle for which you are given one angle to be equal to 60 degree. Now what do you know about the base angles here? We have studied angles opposite to equal sides are equal. So opposite to OB we have angle A. Opposite to angle B we have the side OA. So you can very well say angle A and angle B are equal. I have marked them as x and x. Now what do you know about x plus x? x plus x would be equal to 180 minus 60. 180 is the sum of all angles of the triangle from which I have subtracted 60 degree. So you got 120 degree. That means x plus x. 2x so you get x is equal to 120 degree divided by 2 which is equal to 60 degree. So you can say angle A to be equal to 60 degree, angle B to be also equal to 60 degree. That is the answer for the fourth question. Now since all angles are equal here you can call OAB to be an equilateral triangle. Now come to the next question. The same idea is used here also. Look at the figure. You are given O to be the center, A, B and C to be points of the circle. Two angles are given to you and the question here is you are asked to find angle A, angle B and angle C. This is again a very simple problem. I will tell you how to do. First of all, let us write angle BOC. Now what do you know about angle BOC? You can get angle BOC easily by subtracting these two angles. Subtract the sum of these two angles from 360 degrees. You will get 360 minus of 120 plus 120. That is equal to 360 minus 240 which is equal to 120 degree. So I got this angle to be equal to 120 degree. Now why did we subtract from 360 degree? It is because angle around the point. Let me repeat angle around a point. If you keep a point, angle around that point would be equal to 360 degree. It is because you get 180 in the top portion, 180 in the bottom portion. So angle around a point is always 360 degree. Now this angle is 120 degree. So very well you can write the answers of these two. See here, I am marking these two angles to be equal to x and x. Why did I mark x and x? It is because OB and OC 
or the radii of the same circle they are always equal hence you can call boc to be a isosceles triangle so what are the base angles sum of all angles in a triangle is 180 degree so 180 minus 120 you got 60 degree 60 degree divided by 2 gives you 30 degree so you can say these two angles are 30 degree and 30 degree the same idea is applied in these two triangles is it clear you know this angle is 120 oc and oa are again the radii of the same circle they are equal you get an isosceles triangle therefore these two angles are again 30 degree and 30 degree same idea used in this triangle this angle is 30 degree and this angle is also equal to 30 degree so what did you understand now what are the angles of triangle abc you can call angle a to be 30 plus 30 60 degree angle b 30 plus 30 60 degree angle c is also 60 degree so our triangle abc is an equilateral triangle hope it is clear to you now let us do a construction for your exam often you will be getting the construction of a perpendicular bisector of a line come to the construction children first of all i have drawn a line ab of measure 6.5 cm using my scale after that keep your compass at a use your compass keep your compass at a take half more than ab draw arcs above and below ab keep your compass at a draw two arcs above and below ab now keep your compass at b don't change the measure without changing the measure keep your compass at b cut the previous arcs again in the top portion and in the bottom portion now you can see two arcs intersecting at the points use your scale join these two arcs i have joined these two arcs if the arc cuts this line at a point let us name that point as o now you can say a o and o b will be equal it is because this line is the bisector also the angle made here will be always equal to 90 degree so you can call this line to be the perpendicular bisector of ab now look at the measure of oa and ob they will be equal to 6.5 divided by 2 if you divide 6.5 by 2 what do you get you get 3.25 cm children the same idea is used to draw a square of each side 3.75 cm long just imagine can you measure 3.75 cm using your scale no it is not possible isn't it so what we do we take the double of it 3.75 plus 3.75 gives you 7.5 cm clear so first of all we have to draw a line of length 7.5 cm after that take half of that line and construct the square see the construction first of all i am going to draw a line for 7.5 cm use your scale draw a line for 7.5 cm i have drawn a line let me name this as ab its measure is 7.5 after that what i have to do 
I have to draw the perpendicular bisector of this line. How do we draw perpendicular bisector? Keep your compass at A. Take half more than AB. Is it clear? Half more than AB. So if you keep your compass here, this is half. Take half more than that. Draw arcs above and below AB. I have drawn arcs above and below AB. Now keep your compass at B. Use the same measure. Cut two more arcs. Join these two arcs. Let us name this point as O. Okay. Now what do you know about AO and OB? Now you know AO and OB both will be equal to 3.5 cm long. Okay. Now using this measure you are going to draw a square. So what you can do? We know this angle is equal to 90 degree. Take this measure in your compass. We know OB's measure is 3.75. So take 3.75 cm in your compass and draw arcs. See here I am keeping my compass at O. I have drawn an arc for 3.75 cm. Again keep your compass at this point because we know in a square all four sides are equal. So I have drawn an arc for 3.75. Now keep your compass at B. Draw another arc for 3.75. And join this arc to B and also to a point on this line. I am joining it. This is joined. This angle will be 90 degree. And join this arc to this point. Let us name it O, B, C, D. We can call O, B, C, D to be a square whose sides are 3.75 cm long. Clear? Children, in our next class, we will talk about angular bisector. Okay. Keep watching. Keep supporting. Don't forget to subscribe also. Thank you.